It's a problem. Um, first of all, we have pending um, for October uh, bilateral talks with Cuba on migration, in which we are going to take a deep dive into these issues and see how we can work together on uh, that very important issue. Secondly, there are regional flows and we have detected trends and the way in which these migrants move. Um, and we have to work on a regional basis with the countries through which they are passing, countries which are facilitating them, to see whether we can come up with a common plan to try to stem the movement of illegal migrants, particularly the Cubans. We had a management meeting yesterday in the Ministry of Immigration and we spent about two hours on this very topic, looking at the numbers, looking at the flows, looking at the persons in Belize who are facilitating this illegal trade. We, some recommendations have been made and a cabinet paper is being prepared to send to cabinet on this issue. The long and short of it is that we have noted a significant increase in the number of illegal and irregular migrants coming through Belize, Cubans being a significant increase. Um, and so we are going to be talking with our colleagues, the Cuban government, as well as regionally, and we will have to put some measures in place in Belize to address the issue. Um, the flows of Cubans has increased significantly, given the challenges that are being experienced in Cuba. Um, and we have stepped up our efforts in trying to catch these people, um, and not only Cubans, other nationalities as well. We have, for example, a significant increase of people from Africa, from West Africa, and that's a concern to us. And the ambassador for Ghana and the ambassador for Nigeria were here for the diplomatic week and we had a discussion about that. They both promised to return to have in-depth discussions about how we can manage these flows.